Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Sagis. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Archers. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Archers, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages Source your Guardian Angel have for you in regards to your higher self here. All right. Definitely stick around. We're going to use the Love Romance Angel deck. Pull a spread for you and your person to see how you two feel towards each other Sagittarius okay definitely stick around we're going to use the um closing out of your spirit with some word advice as well from your guardian angels and ancestors archers all right shout out to the soul tribe gang gang in the building if you would love to join click that join link down below my love i do provide daily content there all right you can have a more one-on-one -on -one personal experience with me all right and you also get exclusive discounts on your personal readings and your email questions all right and also click the notification bell list okay it goes down in a dip all right literally all right check me out we go live we hang out we've seen some music delphi spirit is always singing me uh i mean singing me providing different beautiful songs in regards to particular particular situations you'd be surprised honey all right so definitely click that join link all right definitely hit that notification bell so that way you're notified for when i do post new content here when i do the all sign readings for you guys and also if you have any love questions in the future you can definitely get notified when i'm on live all right so let's see here archers what's going on What's going on with your spirit and your higher self? What do your spirit and your higher self want to tell you at this time? All right, let's see here, archers. Shout out to the archers. Bang, bang, gang, gang. And boing, boing, because y'all be hitting the motherfucking arrows. Okay. All right, we have grief here. Wow, well, look at that color on shine there, honey, okay? This is definitely the closing of this color this week, which is when you guys will see this video here be Saturday. All right, so we're still working with this color this week up until Sunday, all right? But however here, my loves, it says, I understand that losing something is an opportunity, Archers, to appreciate it, okay? So something that you may feel like you lost or someone may feel like at this time that they lost you, okay? so just take it rather however it resonates we're all on different timelines here right archers but however here it is stating that i understand that losing something it was an opportunity to gain something okay so someone around you may feel like that they lost you or that there is something that you may know of someone that is grieving and if so my condolences to that particular person or family all right someone just around you overall is feeling like they're lost like they don't know what to do, like that they've lost you, Sagittarius. They can't believe that this is happening. Okay, some of y'all may have decided here, Sagittarius, to detach yourself from someone. Someone that you feel like no longer resonates with your spirit and your higher self. And this person is feeling at a loss now because you're no longer in this person's energy. You may not give this person the time of the day. Okay, and not to just say it in a very blunt, direct way, but that's how we Sagittarius know how to communicate, right? So you guys understand what I'm saying. We a whole Sag okay i'm in the sage family too okay but however you know this is just only from your perspective where you'll be understand okay and i'm sure this is for your highest good because whatever this particular person has done here i'm sure that it's something that no longer resonates with your spirit and you know you know what's better for you and your you know your purpose right and i feel like this person may have been giving you conflict with that you may not been able to figure things out and you're feeling and realizing now that that's not my job right that's not your job to figure out why this person is not on your frequency vibration or why you're not on theirs and that's okay sometimes we can meet eye to eye and sometimes you can't and that's what we have to kind of understand but not beat ourselves up or beat that person up just because they wasn't where we were at you can't blame that person archers and i'm not saying that you are i'm just saying i'm looking at this from both perspectives here okay and this person can't blame you they're just vice versa they can't blame you if you're on this particular certain frequency of vibration and then they're here or they could be even higher than you or you could be lower than them or you know whatever the case might be but this is a situation from a value spiritual lesson here i feel and just by the experience here between you two right 
that this was someone that you both can understand that we, we're not going to look at this as a loss. We're going to look at this as something that we evaluate about ourselves. Now we know what to look forward to and what to adjust or be more available for when you go to the next experience. Okay. All right. And next experience could be anything, right? I'm just, again, this is, I'm focusing this around as a general reading. It's not a one-on-one. -on -one, okay. The disclaimer is down below in the description box. Okay. We can definitely book for a personal to get more details relating around your situation, but I'm giving it to you on a broader or general collective perspective. Okay. So however it feels and resonates for your spirit and your soul, then that's great. That's awesome. We're picking it up. Right. But if not, please don't force it to fit. Okay. Click the notification bell. You can come back the next two days and we'll see what energy we pull on the most right as a collective because these are my collective archers here okay game game motherfucking game okay so just to say that my love so yeah someone feel like they are losing it over you or that they lost you and it's crazy because your last reading was kind of similarity as i had to what i was pulled on to labelize your reading as sagittarius okay and you know you guys are my babies okay so we can talk a little bit we can talk a little bit it's about five minutes here give me two more minutes and we'll get on into it okay all right i love you i love you archers okay now moving forward like to say that as i was saying here that everything is going to evolve right everything no matter what it is around us nature evolves each and every day second time minute all the way down to infinitely all right because we know time doesn't exist so when you think about it from that point we as humans we as whatever being you came up on this planet to do and assigned to be all right you're going to evolve because you're taking up on these experiences okay so when you look at it in that perspective don't beat yourself up archers okay you don't expect to be with a particular person for forever okay not as far as in this suit here okay but it is definitely infinite outside of this damn green earth i'm gonna say that all right don't get me wrong i love it it's beautiful but there's more out there than just where we're at right now honey and you're going to be continuously coming back and evolving and being in different other places, areas of the galaxy, honey. So when you think about it from next, but we can't think small. We, you know, us archers, we're going to always look outside the box. We're going to always allow ourselves to explore, expand our minds. We're not going to be boxed in. Okay. So someone may try to box you in or, you know, you just have to literally make a sacrifice. Like, look, do I rather stay here in this or do I go and do what's make me happy? If I can't do that and still be here with this person and being able to still be myself as an archer, and I allow this person to be themselves or whatever, who they are, right? This person's not allowing you to do that. Then, yeah, maybe it's time for you to go, okay? You're missing out on what it is that you're supposed to be doing and what's making you happy. Not to say this person is, but, you know, you still got to do what an archer got to do. They still have to do what they have to do. But if you guys can't come to agreement on how you're going to do it and make adjustments and understanding that we both evolve and work around that then yeah you know you got you need to do what you need to do archers okay yeah you got to use your own discernment i can't make your decision for you okay for whoever this is but this person is really you know feeling like they've lost someone okay and i feel like nine times out of ten that's because they didn't choose to go within and do the work just like you had to do archers okay it's like they want to maybe cut a corner and shit make a shortcut and shit you can't do that when it comes to your higher self and your spirituality right everyone has levels everything has a levels to this shit okay and this person you know they they kind of in their feelings because you you actually did the work you didn't cross you didn't cheat you didn't go around no corners you stuck way through that shit you felt all the hurt the pain the love the sorrow you felt the good and the bad of it and you made a decision for you okay so i respect that archers you keep doing what you're doing okay so that is your spiritual message in regards to your higher self okay in regards to you overall and what you need to know for the next week here push out all right so yes we love here we evolve definitely that little chit chat honey story time resonated for you all definitely don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up loves all right show spirit some loves and definitely subscribe my loves welcome be a part of be a part of the, the fam bam okay be a part of us as a collective here okay this is what we need to do we're here to learn have a human being experience, right? So, hey, have fun with it. Make everything a balance, Archers, okay? So, let's lay out spread for you and your person here. Three shuffles. One, two, and three Archers. I hope you guys have been utilizing the color orange, all right, and doing your thing. I wasn't supposed to put it over yet, but I seen what it was. If y'all was watching, y'all would have seen what it was, too. Mm -hmm. Stay up. We keep up, Archers. Keep up, okay? Keep up, okay? I know some of y'all is, and some of y'all is still on 
what I just said here. Pick it up, rewind, and do what y'all need to do. Save the video, honey. Share it, honey. Okay. All right. So let's see. That is the mutual energy up here. We're going to have the challengers at the bottom of the deck, your archers. Wow, we have children here now or your love life is. Okay, so now some of you all, your love life is being affected by children here. Okay, so if you are this person here, for an example, have kiddos here, you're dating this person, you're getting to know this person here, right? Making sure that you give your kiddos here the attention that they're needing, honey, and making sure that you're keeping the balance with your love life and your kiddos, okay? Because your love life may be affected here, Archers, by your loved ones or your kiddos here. So making sure that you're finding a balance here, basically, for me, in regards to your partnership, your person, whatever it is you're doing when you're focusing in on your love and passion, and making sure that you're still giving your kiddos the time and energy and effort that they need here as well. All right, I say they need us and we need them, honey, okay? All right, so let's first start with your person's energy here. Wow, again, we have this could be the one. Boom, okay? So your person feels like archers that they can be the one for you or you could be the one for them. Fuck it up, archers. You have already met the romantic partner you see here. So this particular person here is now realizing like, damn, archers, I really met the person I want to be with here, okay? And this is how this person is viewing you, Sagittarius, okay? They feel like that you can be the one here, that you could be the one that make them happy that be their all in all here this person may could have been searching for someone like you and they just you know that's that heat that needle excuse me in the haystack mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. let's see here we have very soon wow damn gina my apologies my loves I had to drink some water. That was getting a little parched, honey mm -hmm. yeah. all right so again here honey we have very soon archers look at here okay now we have Clearly decide, Archers, what you want so that it comes to you now, right now. Get your popcorn scoot up, honey. Listen, all right? So some of y'all not even expecting this person when they do come in. You know why? Because it's so fresh. It's still new with this card saying this could be the one. So you could have literally just met this person a couple of days ago or last week, or it may have almost now been a month or two here, right? It hasn't been just something that you've been in for at least a year or two yet, I feel like for some of you all, because it's saying very soon here. I'm just going by the, you know, the clues here. And the true of love here okay meaning that this person could be the one for true love okay mm, mm, mm. this getting a little deep arches and we ain't even pulled over all the whole damn cars yet yo energy down here we ain't even got up over here yet just go a little deep sadgies okay stay above the water honey okay we got reconciled here someone from your past is returning to your love life wow so this could be someone here archers that you have had a past life here with here you know, some of you all that is aware of that type of frequency and vibration here. Everything is a pattern. Everything is a circle, right? We keep evolving. We keep going and going and going. You meet the person again, depending on where you're at. If you guys are on the same frequency that you can be able to build some more. If you're not, you go your separate ways and you'll meet back up this person again. It just keeps going on and on and on. It doesn't stop. So again, this person, you may be returning the favor to this person, being this person doing this lifetime archers. Or this person is returning back to do the favor to you because you treated this person with the utmost respect here. And this is going to occur again for some of you all very soon for the ones that haven't met this person yet. And others of you all, this is exactly how this person feels towards you, Archers. They really feel like that you could be the one. They're starting to feel like that, goddamn, Archers, she, I had to be done met this person before. There's no fucking way, you know what I'm saying? How, why didn't I, you know, it's, this person's asking all type of questions here, okay? Because this is the energy I'm pulling here, okay? Some of y'all, this could be a heavy masculine energy or they could have masculine placements in their chart. The bottom of my left foot is itching there, okay? Some of y'all, you could be getting some fortunate coming in here honey <laughs> do the man pull up spiritually why the hell is the bottom of my left foot itching like that it feel good though you know you got that good itch. you got to stop everything it's that motherfucker mm -hmm, honey that's some good itches honey look i'm very old school what moving forward now we have free yourself it's time to take back control of your life honey okay so archers you may feel like at one point in time you know someone again like i said it could be this particular person here it's so funny how this card is on here. So, Archers, I really feel like this week here closing out, okay? You really need to finish up. We're working with the color yellow. You can even start on it now all the way to next week. I don't know. Just keep wearing the color until you feel no longer you need to. I do, however, on this platform, if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. But I do provide a different color every week for you guys to see what resonates and pull with you the most. And that's what you need to work with when it comes to physically, mentally, and emotionally, okay? 
they were in the color, eating the color fruits and vegetables, doing the yoga exercise. I sent a lot of this for the evolving spirit. Shout out to the soul tribe. So if you would love to definitely join so you can get on that, you know, that process of evolving and just to kind of amplify it and help you to get where you need to get spiritually, honey, so we can get you strong up there, honey, then definitely click that join link down below, my loves. And I provide all of this daily content here on that other side there on that additional community board that we have okay but however this is just everything reminding me of this energy here pulling in with this color orange okay so i really feel like you guys work with this color as much as you need to this represents your sacral chakra which talks about being creative stepping into that passionate love that sensual sexual energy as well here there's a lot of passion here between you and this person here honey so definitely focus in look up the color orange spiritually to you and see what resonates for you honey because this is definitely a spiritual connection here this is definitely was meant for you to cross paths here okay i really feel like this person is now going to allow you to be able to free yourself because you may have felt so stuck here archers for so long with this particular person from your past or whoever you just been removing your energy from and not not to say that you know you didn't have a good partnership with that particular person but for some y'all you may have just outgrown this person during this lifetime and that's okay. You might come in the next lifetime and, and your person here that you've outgrown this time, they might outgrow you the next time, okay? And it just keeps going back and forward. So when you look at it that way, you, you would take things from a totally different pace, the, you know, the energy, everything will open up as far as looking at this person or just the whole situation and connection overall, Archers, okay? It gets deep. Yes, the rabbit hole gets deep when it comes to love, honey. How willing and far you willing to go? Okay, move forward. Now, we have keep in mind, damn, Gina, your love life or your soulmate here may differ from your usual type and expectations here, Archer. Okay, lean in, honey. Okay, now listen here. So, you may feel like, damn, I would never thought that I'd fall in love with a person like this, or I never thought that I'd go on a date with a person like this. I never thought, I just never thought, okay? So this person's going to be in yet never thought. I just never thought. So you ain't just new. You, you just never thought. I mean, it's okay. Say it. Archers, you stuttering and shit. Just say it. You would have never thought that you would meet a guy or a woman like this, did you? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, and this is what this is, I feel like. And some of y'all there, someone is definitely mourning. And I don't even say that word because I always say grand rising because we ain't dying over here, honey. Okay? We rise, okay? But this person is literally over here mourning for you or they feel like that they're mourning for you because they've lost something so deeply connected to them. And this is because they put all of that in them and not appreciating it or not taking a month that that energy was there for a reason and i feel like some of y'all this person may have even taken advantage of you for them to be feeling this at loss and you literally are still here physically where they can see you touch you but they feeling like literally that your ass are not already crossed the fuck over because you don't detach yourself from this person so it's something deeper than that with this person it's not just them you know oh because you you decide to separate yourself no this shit is deeper they're holding on to some deeper other shit and they trying to, you know, fuck around, ping it on you while you feel like you all tied up here and can't fucking move because if they put, it's like I'm hearing a guilt trip. We don't have time for that. So someone may be trying to put a guilt trip on you because of the shit that they're not going within and accepting about them damn selves. Mm -mm. I can smell them motherfuckers a mile away, baby. Keep going. Keep pushing, Archers. You done did what you can do. Obviously, they didn't enjoy the treasure while it was there. Okay, they too, took too much from the motherfucking treasure box and didn't appreciate the shit. So you have to pack that motherfucking box up and haul the fuck ass, okay? Real shit. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. We got deception here. This is how you feel towards this person here, okay? Some of y'all in regards to this particular person, this ex here, this person, you had to let the fuck go, okay? Someone is wearing a false mask. And this is what I feel like some of y'all are just found out about this person here. Yes, you thought this person was someone that you know you just hell. You fuck it. You feel hello. You feel hell over heels with that. Well, there it sure was some hell, wasn't it? it Feel like it, huh? Hell over fucking heels. You had to slide down that bitch. Whatever. Moving forward, but whatever, my loves. Know that you have a lot that you. I feel like you're pushing and pulling, Sagittarius. You have someone that you know is just so genuine, loving. You're enjoying this person energy here, and you really feel like that this person could be the one because they certainly feel like that as well with you. You got this person could be the one and keep an open mind so you two are definitely feeling mutual about how the connection is between you two and then in other news you still got motherfucking peeping tongue bottom feeder over here that still 
in your energy or you know mourning over you okay when they can allow this process to be much smoother than what they're doing because they're projecting things on you instead of dealing with these issues and these feelings that they have that they show up in other ways where it's starting to show and other people can see the shit where they get to ask you uh you all right you know that's that type of shit that's when you know they have a mental issue because they're not addressing this shit so they could be doing shit and other people notice them around them it's like why are you doing that for that situation that shouldn't even be done like that you don't already you know it's some shit that people around probably checking so people around probably checking your person or your ex and saying hey you getting out of here you doing some shit that you know if you just talk to them if, if you feel like this now because we starting to see the shit you're doing it ain't making sense okay so some of y'all this person your ex here is literally getting called down for their shit or you at archers as always is probably calling somebody out for their shit mm -hmm. let's see what the mutual energy here is between you and this person wow we got love yourself first, Archers. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive here. So now you're realizing that you're being able to be more attractive here because, again, what? You're loving yourself. You're stepping outside the box. You're not letting people, place, and situations just hold you down. You're a whole fucking Archer. You ha It's a reason why you are half, you are half, you know, on four legs and half human right it's a reason you have to take off you have to travel you have to go in the motherfucking horse and haul ass sometimes and then you come back to center with yourself you got to go off and explore do you and come back and center yourself and somebody just trying to keep your ass trapped in and your ass probably ain't been out in a minute okay so just adjust yourself take some deep breaths here okay let's see here what the challenge here Ooh, the challenge is here is that you both need to know here in this connection here that it's going to be worth the wait everything is going to happen now in divine time it's not going to happen now as a hot and piece of fucking ready right now it's going to happen in divine time and when it is meant to happen some of y'all two may be forcing each other to you know do this or do that no chill just go with the flow if it ain't meant for y'all to do this or hang out this day or do this on this time then just go with it know that something is always going to show you within the next hour or the next two hours the next a day or two to show you like damn it wasn't meant for us to hang out or dang it wasn't meant for me to message this person or dang it wasn't meant for me to talk to them. everything happens for a fucking reason when you understand that way archer you just sit back put that motherfucking neutral and let that bitch ride <laughs> she that's what the fuck i do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. so let's see how your person feel here honey before we close out your spread all right, again, if the reading is definitely resonating with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to like, subscribe, my love. Okay, honey, definitely hit that notification bell so that way we can dive a little deeper here the next go around. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, honey, we got, I need a hug, Archer. Somebody need a hug, honey. They need some, look, somebody needs some help, honey. They over here going crazy. I'm going crazy, crazy, crazy just to thinking about you lately. Damn, Jenny, what you doing to Archers? I'm going crazy, crazy, crazy just to thinking about you, baby. Damn, so this person really needs a fucking hug, Archer. Who the fuck is this? I, look, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I said somebody over here grieving for you, honey. They don't feel like they don't have lost their little puppy. Okay, we got I want to marry you. Damn, Gina. Okay, so someone wants to marry you. This could be this energy up here where you both realizing that, you know, the connection here is deeper than what you two thought. All right, we got keep an open mind here, and this could be the one. So someone definitely, you know, I'm feeling I'm really picking up two different energies. Totally two different vibes here. You got a fuckery ass energy here again. This could be the person, you know, I ain't trying to call them out, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna sugarcoat shit. I'm gonna keep it a buck. And what the buck is here is that somebody is a buck fucking short here. Okay, so two different energy. I'm picking up someone who's negative, low frequency vibration. They always try to one up, they always trying to be in competition. All this bad shit, right? And then you have this other energy here that's over here. Crazy, 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 just a thinking about you baby yeah this person really wants to you know marry you be with you okay so yeah you got a tag and pool here who who is she who is who is it sagittarius who got who is tag and who the fuck is it you over here playing tag and shit mm, 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 mm. i don't know what to name your damn reading who child let's close out here beautiful spread here archers 
Again, definitely if the reading is resonating, don't forget to like, subscribe, or write. Again, I am available for personal readings as well, Archers. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all right, definitely click that join link down below. You get discounts as well for your personal readings or any love live stream questions, okay? And you also, again, get discounts on your personal readings. So all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. Damn, Gina, romance here, Archers, baby. Let's talk about sex, baby. Okay, well, somebody, look, but somebody ready to get up in that bedroom, bedroom spirit. Slow down with these songs. We're not about to. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at here. This is what's coming out here. This is your angels, your guardian angels here. And know that you have romance coming in here. Some of y'all have already got on this damn love boat, okay? And others of you all, this is what the fuck definitely is coming in for you. And know that this person who comes in for you is definitely the one, honey. Or they could be the one. You better claim this shit down below, honey. This is a needle in the haystack fucking reading here. She, okay? Wow, archers. Again, definitely if the reading has resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you all so much archers for your love your continuous love and support i appreciate you all so much all right definitely congratulations my love this is beautiful all right you guys stay healthy and stay wealthy bye-bye